In this video, we will graph the function y equals 4 cotangent of 3x minus pi over 2. Before we start, let's take a look at the graph of the basic cotangent function y equals cotangent of x. Here we have the x-axis and the y-axis and one of the vertical asymptotes is at 0 and another one at pi. Between these two consecutive asymptotes, we have one part of this cotangent function and more parts to the left and to the right. If we look at the function between these two consecutive asymptotes, then we can say that this function completes one period as x changes between 0 and pi. So, if this function completes one period as x changes between 0 and pi, then our function will complete one period as 3x minus pi over 2 changes between 0 and pi. To find the values of x for which this function completes one period, we will have to solve the following inequality. 3x minus pi over 2 is greater than 0 and is less than pi. So again, this means that this function will complete one period as 3x minus pi over 2 changes between 0 and pi. To solve this inequality for x, first we will add pi over 2 to all three parts. To the left, 0 plus pi over 2 is pi over 2. In the middle, negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 will cancel and we will get 3x. And to the right, pi plus pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2. Now, to get x alone, we need to divide all three parts by 3. Then to the left, pi over 2 divided by 3 is pi over 6. Then in the middle, 3 and 3 will cancel and we will get x. Then to the right, 3 pi over 2 divided by 3 makes 3 pi over 6, which will become pi over 2. So, once we get x alone, we can say that at these points, we will have two consecutive asymptotes for our cotangent function. I will start the rectangular coordinate system and I will draw these two asymptotes. The first asymptote will be at pi over 6. Then from here we will count 2 pi over 6 and 3 pi over 6, which is the same as pi over 2. Now I will graph the vertical asymptotes and as you see I made them dotted because they are not part of the graph. Now what we know from the basic cotangent function is that the graph crosses the x-axis right in the middle between two consecutive asymptotes. This point is called the x-intercept and in our function the x-coordinate of this point is 2 pi over 6 which is the same as pi over 3. If it's hard to find this coordinate by looking at the graph, then we can find it algebraically by adding pi over 6 and pi over 2 and dividing the result by 2. So again, to find this x-intercept, we will add pi over 6 and pi over 2 and we will divide the result by 2. To add these two fractions, we need to have the same denominator Therefore, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by 3. Then pi over 6 plus 3 pi over 6 makes 4 pi over 6. So then now we will have 4 pi over 6 divided by 2. And now if we divide this fraction by 2, we will get 4 pi over 12. Then if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4, we will get pi over 3. And as you see, this is exactly what we have on the graph. Now let's take another look at the basic cotangent function. Here we have the x-intercept and if from this point we move halfway to the right between the x-intercept and the vertical asymptote, then at this point the value of the function is negative 1. But if from this point we move halfway to the left, the value of the function will be positive 1. In our function, we have number 4 in front of the cotangent and because of this number, when from the x-intercept we move halfway to the right, the value of the function will be negative 4 
and when we move halfway to the left, the value of the function will be positive 4. And now to have a more accurate graph, let's find the x-coordinates of these points. To find the x-coordinate of the point to the right, we will add pi over 3 and pi over 2 and we will divide the result by 2. So pi over 3 plus pi over 2 all divided by 2. To get the same denominator, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction by 2 and the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by 3. Then 2 pi over 6 plus 3 pi over 6 makes 5 pi over 6. So now we have 5 pi over 6 all divided by 2. Then 5 pi over 6 divided by 2 is 5 pi over 12. Now I will write this number here and then I will plot the point with the coordinates 5 pi over 12 and negative 4. Now to find the x coordinate of this point we will add pi over 6 and pi over 3 and we will divide the result by 2. So then we will have pi over 6 plus pi over 3 all divided by 2. Now let's multiply the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by 2. Then pi over 6 plus 2 pi over 6 makes 3 pi over 6. So now we will have 3 pi over 6 all divided by 2. From here if we want to simplify this fraction first then 3 pi over 6 is the same as pi over 2. Then pi over 2 divided by 2 equals pi over 4. So then this point has the x coordinate pi over 4. And now let's plot the point pi over 4 and positive 4. And now once we have these three important points as well as two vertical asymptotes we will connect these points to get the graph. And just like you see in the basic cotangent function, if from the x-intercept we move to the left, the function will approach positive infinity, but if from the x-intercept we move to the right, the function will approach negative infinity. So now we will connect these points to get the graph. So here we have the graph of y equals 4 cotangent of 3x minus pi over 2 over 1 period. The period of this function is pi over 3 because this is the distance between two consecutive asymptotes. To find this value algebraically we need to take pi over 2 and subtract pi over 6. And now from here if needed we can repeat this graph to the right and to the left as many times as we need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.